Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode seven of Vegan Made Me. I am your host, Finney and St. Omer, and today we're going to make my brand new smoothie called Greener Pastures. Now, I call it Greener Pastures because it will bring forth a better life and a better situation for my health and my weight loss. Now, speaking of weight loss, let me tell you a quick story. Before I came to North Carolina, I weighed 135 pounds. Can you believe it? I was super skinny. I had no body fat. Then I came to North Carolina in 1999 when I transferred to North Carolina Central. When you fast forward about 10 years later, I ballooned to an unbelievable whopping 209 pounds. All of this, 209 pounds. How? Right? So everything changed. All that weight on me slowed me down. I felt tired. I mean, and as a performing artist, you know, getting on stage, going on tour, doing my sets, even I'm on stage for like 30 minutes, that was a lot, especially carrying all of that weight. And I tried everything to take the weight off me. I've done the lemonade diet. I've done the paleo diet. I even tried the slim fat diet. Now, they all did work by taking the weight off, but the problem was, just like that, the weight bounced back. As soon as I got off of the diets and started going back to eating like I used to eat, all the weight came right back. Because you can't be on a diet forever, right? So, I became a vegan last year on January 20th, 2017. And since then, the weight has came off. And it was, you know, it was gradual. It came off very slowly. But in a year's time, I went from, I think I weighed in at 185 pounds last year, and now I'm 167. But the great thing is, the weight sustained at 167 pounds for the past couple of months. Now, that's because I haven't been going to the gym like I was supposed to, to get the weight off. So, now I'm doing my 40 day cleanse, which will help expedite the weight loss. Plus I'm going back to the gym on Monday. Yes, this Monday I'll be back in the gym every day doing my spin class and whatever other class I plan on taking. So with the combination of the cleanse and the spin class, it should drop my weight down to my desired goal of 145 pounds, maybe by February 14th when the cleanse is supposed to be over. So with that being said, after I get to my weight goal, I continue to eat the way I've been eating all year last year and the weight will sustain. So that means once this weight comes off of me, it will stay off. That is the beauty of being a vegan. It is not a diet. It is just the way of life, how I eat. And that's fine and it's perfect because I'm getting everything I need and I'm not going back to eating a whole bunch of, you know, snacks that just pack on the fat, filled with sugar, you know, all the bad stuff. And I'm away from all of that now. So that's the great part of the way I've changed my eating habits and just eating to live and not living to eat. There is a difference. But that's, with that being said, we're gonna get started with the Greener Pasture Smoothie. Let's get going. And for today's recipe, we will not be using the Jacqueline Power Juicer. All we will need is the Ninja Professional 1500 Watt Blender and our following ingredients. First of all, we will need two tablespoons of pea protein, three tablespoons of hemp hearts, one tablespoon of moringa powder, two red bananas, one mango, one tablespoon of sea moss, and a glass of almond milk. And just like every other smoothie I make, we're going to need a little bit of ice. That'll do it. Now that we have everything prepared, let's get it all into the blender and get started. So we're gonna start off by putting the red bananas in. Just gonna dump everything inside. Then comes the mango. Then we're gonna pour in our pea powder, our hemp hearts, our moringa, and our sea moss. and our almond milk. Very simple, isn't it? You know the drill, about a minute. All 
right, it's been about a minute. So let's check it out and see what we got. The consistency looks good. Beautiful green color. Now let's give it a taste. Oh man, greener pastures indeed. Now for those with a sweet tooth, this is not extremely sweet, but it will satisfy that craving of sweetness that you're looking for. The banana and the mango ties it all in. This right here is very good. And that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Vegan Made Me. Once again, I am your host, Finney and St. Omer. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and recipe for the Greener Pastures Smoothie. If you liked the recipe, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And also, if you made your own variation, post the recipe. I definitely want to try it. And do me a favor, at the end of the video, at the top left of the screen, you will see the little icon, Vegan Made Me. That is the button for you to subscribe to the YouTube page. Do that, please. Let's get all my subscribers up there in numbers. And also, follow at Vegan Made Me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a million friends. I know a few episodes have said 100,000 friends. Let's get them up to the million friends, okay? Let's build our vegan community together. Thank you very much. I'm Finney and St. Omer. You know what vegan made me? What will vegan make you? See you tomorrow.